this video we're going to add a back-to-back -back sales order with a purchase order which matches off and of course when it's picked or received when the items are received within RS Enterprise it automatically picks the SOR as you would expect in RS Enterprise so let's try and get ahead around what has to happen um, and some of the functionality in post transit users I'm going to presume that you've already watched the video about sales orders so I'm not going to cover any of that obviously this is a sales order but it's got several extra references here which again are mapped in system settings let's just go to uh, here and yes we, we've got several fields here first one is warning validation on here now the idea of this is you need some validation before you're going to post it probably so and this can be used in post trans without doing a back-to-back -back order basically if that cell contains something then post trans will display it and won't let the transaction be in post posted until that is blank also it says the next sheet to post is in G4 which is POR now the next sheet is that little sheet there POR so having posted the sales order it's then going to switch to that purchase order tab and post whatever transactions on there when it's finished posting this sales order it's going to write the reference into G3 which the purchase order will need to use to create the link between the true transactions and that's what the next section in the settings does other transaction reference which we'll see in a minute then gives it that purchase order and the name to put against it this bit down here allows you to update a transaction after it's been posted so what it's going to then do is it's going to go back to edit the start sales order and put the POR number into our ref sorry into your ref so let's just recap on that what it's going to do is for a start going to check that because it doesn't contain blank it's going to display a message I'll need to clear that message and the idea is that would be a formula once I've cleared that message that allows Posttrans to post this SOR once Posttrans post that SOR, it will put the SOR reference into here, G3. Then it will say, ah, now I need to post a POR in the tab POR. So it will switch to this POR tab and post this transaction. But this cell here, sorry, this cell here contains whatever is in G3. And this is G3, which will be the SOR number so it will then be able to match off and create the back-to-back -back link using back-to-back -back POR as the description in here and then Posttrans will have remembered the template it started from so it will pop back to here but also if you remember we've got um, after posting then update um, the original transaction with the reference of the POR so let's crumbs try and post all this so let's press post oh I'll tell you another thing I haven't explained is the idea here is you put your stock and all your items and your quantities down but in the POR side what you would use is a formula to point back to the SOR so in actual fact all this information down here is just a mirror image using Excel formulas of this transaction here so the sales order will be a mirror copy sorry the purchase order will be a mirror copy of the sales order and also we've got ignore quantities turned on so it's only going to post values of the quantity against so let's post that transaction so for a start we get the validation warning so this would have been derived by some formula so let's delete that and now let's press post transaction now we've posted the POR so the POR has gone in, look it wrote the reference up there now it switches to the P POR sorry I don't know whether I said SOR before, it's now the POR it's posting the POR and it should now create the link because there's the SOR reference look and it says back POR 
and we should be done. So let's have a look in Exchequer. So we should now have a uh, sales order. There we go, three items. Probably a delivery address, no delivery address, okay. Let's sideways drill. And we can see there, additional matching is the POR. So at present there are no items picked. So now if we go into the POR, there's the POR, and again if we sideways drill, we see the SOR, but of course what we're hoping here is that auto receive, okay, and then let's uh, deliver this order, and let's invoice this delivery. Now if we go back to our SOR, so we go back to our SOR, Exchequer's automatically now picked them because the items have come into stock and it was a back-to-back -back order, so we said to Exchequer automatically pick it as soon as the stock comes in. So we have complete success. Also, we said it should update um, your reference after posting the POR, which it did. Which I didn't explain. That's a little bit tricky because, you see, at the point of creating the SOR, you don't know what POR number you're going to create. Um, so therefore, Posttrans went ahead after it finished and edited the sales order, so you actually had the POR reference on there also. So several things going on there, a little bit tricky to get your head round, but once you get your head round, pretty simple, and again this example is included with Post Trans and it's called Transaction Back to Back.